So here we have the Citroen C4 Picasso on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. As we approach the boot, you can see we have reversing sensors. It's a seven seat car. So you can see one of the rear seats is folded out. So on the left hand side here is how much boot space you'd have as a seven seater. Should you fold that one down, it would look like this. And that is how much boot space you have as a five seat vehicle. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. They're all digital, as you can see. You have the rev counter on the left, digital readout for the speedometer in the center and on the right hand side you'll be able to see what the climate control is currently doing. Uh, in the bottom center section you can see the total miles for the car they are 70,266 and directly above that we have the fuel gauge for the car. Working our way out to the steering wheel from there we have controls for cruise control and speed limiter. We've also got stereo and phone controls as well. Over in the centre is the touch screen for the car. So we're on the uh, radio um, screen at the moment, or the audio screen to be more accurate. You can see there we have AM, FM and DAB radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. We, nothing's connected at the moment, but we have got USB input, iPod input, Bluetooth audio and auxiliary input. So once you pair your phone, you'll be able to stream your music wirelessly as well as making and receiving phone calls. Uh, we can uh, set our cruise, our, uh, sorry, climate control temperatures from on here. Uh, we can also adjust our fan speed, direction of the air. We can turn the air conditioning on and off, or we can hit auto, and the car will do all of that for us. You can override that whenever you wish to, to put it back in manual, and you can turn that off whenever you wish to as well. Working our way down from there, we have the electronic handbrake deadlock, so you can lock the car doors from the outside. You can also turn off the traction control for the car from here. This cubby hole section will open up. You've got plenty of storage inside there as well as the USB input for the music. And we have a six speed manual gearbox. This car also has a panoramic glass roof. There's a dial up here, turn that. It will stop in different stages or you can open it all the way to the back of that middle row of seats. And as you can see, that lets in a huge amount of extra light. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Glenbournes. We'd love to hear from you soon.